Welcome to the February Luxury Market Report brought to you by MansionArizona.com. I'm your luxury real estate professional, Jeremy Pales, and in this episode, we're going to take a look at the luxury real estate market in Flagstaff, Arizona. The Flagstaff single-family luxury market has swung back to a buyer's market from a seller's market last month and a buyer's market the month before with a 21% sales ratio. Anybody else have whiplash? Home sold for median of 100% of the list price again in January 2023. The luxury benchmark price remains at $975,000. The total inventory was 55. Total sales were five. The price band with the most sales was $1.3 to $1.4 million with two homes sold. And the price band with the most inventory was the $1.1 to $1.2 million with eight homes available. The median sales price was $1.24 million down from $1.3 million last year, a 4% decrease. Total inventory is up 49% compared to last year. Total sales were down 62%. And the days on market were 103 days compared to 61 last January. The Flagstaff luxury market seems to be a bit of a roller coaster. From buyers to sellers to buyers markets, it can't seem to make up its mind. Will this continue into the spring season? Or will we see some normalization come back to the Flagstaff market? If you want to see if this trend continues, and see the awesome luxury home tours we have lined up, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you're notified when a new video is released. Now for some insights on the greater luxury market from our partners at the Institute for Luxury Home Marketing. Real estate cycles, norms, exceptions, and expectations shaping 2023. As we move out of two and a half years of one of the most dynamic luxury real estate markets and transition into a new cycle, there is still an underlying apprehension as to what 2023 will bring especially in the upcoming spring market. For the most part, experts and media expectations of a recession causing major impacts on the market have quieted, and the talk is now of correction rather than a crash. It has long been a common belief that the real estate market is cyclical, with predictable patterns emerging both in short term as well as over multiple years. It is contended changes are not random, and most patterns involve cyclical trends that reoccur both seasonally and in the long term. However, there's always an expression, there's always an exception to the rule. And certainly the last three years have seen outside influences impact the speed of change and some of the expected norms in traditional cyclical periods. Cyclical trends. Understanding real estate cycles are important as they can provide reliable information about how and when to buy and sell, particularly when a market is moving through a transition. Typically, the short-term real estate cycle in North America happens over the four quarters of the year, when generally the overall market sees definite and distinctive ebbs and flows. In normal years, expectations are that the winter months will see the buildup of interest by sellers to list. This is in anticipation of buyers wanting to purchase in the spring market, which is usually the most prevalent time for buying and selling. Summer typically sees a decline in sales and as inventory remains on the market longer, the negotiation power starts to shift to the buyer's favor. Fall sees inventory levels that have increased significantly during September create the second busiest time of year only for inventory and sales to decline as we head toward the end of the year. Driven by economic forces, the long-term cycle usually overlays the short-term's cyclical patterns and is responsible for providing a bigger picture of the status of the market, i.e. whether it's buyers, sellers, or balanced and the overall direction of consumer demand. It is comprised of four main phases, peak, recession, trough, and expansion. And unlike short-term cycles, there is no exact science on when and how long each of these phases last. Historically, these cycles will be experienced consecutively, as you cannot have a sustained expansion or peak without an eventual recession and trough. How strongly each of these phases impacts the market also varies considerably. Norms return. Current expectations are that the market will return to more normal pattern in 2023 short-term cycle. So it's highly likely a marked uptick in properties entering the market will occur this spring. Equally, it is anticipated that sellers will no longer expect over asking or multiple bids. Instead, their pricing will reflect an understanding that price growth is slowed with the need to counter increased costs associated with buying. In the long-term cycle, the market has entered into a recession phase, an expected transition as no market can indefinitely continue in the peak phase of high demand and increasing prices, so it naturally finds its tipping point. 
Typically during a recession phase, we would expect to see downward pressure on prices as supply exceeds demand. Our analysis of 125 markets in this report indicates that inventory levels are increasing. And so long as there isn't a corresponding uptick in sales, the spring could see a slight correction in prices. Exceptions and contradictions. However, one of the reasons that we will probably not see a significant decrease in prices typically experienced in a recession phase is that inventory levels are still below historic norms and demand for desirable properties remains relatively stable. National figures will likely contradict local results as we expect to see a contrast in demand between markets that offer more affordability over those where prices have grown disproportionate to the demand of buyers. While some markets may be more affected by the downward pressure of their prices, others are still reporting increases in prices. This disparity is likely to manifest in greater demand for markets that provide an opportunity for either more affordability or potential price growth. As stated by Dr. Lisa Sturdivant, Chief Economist for Bright MLS, prices could rise 5% or more in these more affordable markets in 2023. On the other hand, high cost markets where housing affordability is a challenge could be poised for price drops of 10% or more. Equally, expect to see contradictions within the same market for different price points and the types of homes being purchased, with shifting demographic demands creating unexpected anomalies. Indeed, in 2023, it is predicted that the millennial generation will become a strong investor in the entry-level luxury real estate market, while the mass affluent will continue to increase demand for second and third home investment purchases. Contrary to this, the very high net worth are looking for homes that offer more than just a luxury abode. Lifestyle has become their driver, and homes that offer unique experiences, access to adventure, and are filled with high-end amenities are more their concern than worries about higher interest rates. Expectations. It seems, so long as present conditions remain constant, there is every reason to believe the current real estate recession phase will match the latest economic forecast from North America, in so much that expectations are for more moderate recession lasting a relatively short time. Previous predictions of a market crash have been muted to expectations of a correction in prices. Given that sold prices have risen on average 40% since 2019, a slight downward pressure will still see homes selling at some of the highest rates on record. But while the market is not expected to experience similar dramatic changes of 2020 to 2022, do not expect 2023 not to throw some of its own challenges into the mix. It is clear that many buyers will need to adjust their expectations of dramatic price decreases, and some may even face price increases in their respective markets. One traditional buyer expectation that will return during 2023 is value for money. Expect buyers and sellers alike to take a more discretionary view about their decisions. With an eye on looking for opportunities, irrespective if these are based on investment or lifestyle, the long-term value of the next purchase will be top of mind. Both the lack of inventory and more economic stabilization in interest rates, global GDP, and stock markets are expected to provide encouragement for those looking to sell their property in 2023. This should result in more inventory becoming available over the next few months, and subsequently, we should see the return of the spring market providing greater opportunity for buyers. In contrast, experts predict that fewer homes will be sold in 2023 for the first time in 10 years. Reasoning that is still due to the low supply of new and existing inventory rather than lack of demand, higher prices, or the cost of purchasing a home. If you're looking to buy or sell luxury real estate, it is important to approach the market with a critical and analytical mindset. By understanding the current market realities and setting realistic expectations, we can ensure that you reach your goals. At MansionArizona.com, we're here to help you navigate the luxury real estate market in Arizona. We offer free consultations to help you explore your options and determine the best course of action for you. Plus, if you have any questions about living the luxury lifestyle in Arizona, we're more than happy to provide you with all the information you need. Contact us today to get started.